all right guys i'm back with another video thanks so much for tuning into my channel tuning in and watch my videos i appreciate it uh this is a highly requested video this is like how to wash your 180 waves after a fresh cut you guys liked my other how to wash your own 180 waves so had to come back and do it again make sure you run up the likes like you did last time on another on my other video i appreciate it and uh yeah i just want to get right into the products get right into the video and what you're going to need though for this is a medium brush that's a medium anti brush quick brush and then this is a um a hard royalty brush so you're definitely going to need those two you're definitely going to need the uh what's that the gold sporting waves and then you're also going to need the amazing tresemme conditioner right there that's goat so you're not going to use the shampoo it's just going to be the conditioner just to you know let you know All right, so we're on to like the first step, like pretty much getting started in this. So being that you're not using a shampoo in this tutorial, you really, really wanna make sure that when you first damp your hair, as I did right now, you wanna make sure that you use warm water and then you use it with uh, the conditioner at first. Um, to get out the way, I use warm water first and then cold water after. I don't know, a YouTuber pretty much said that and it's been helping me out ever since. It works better with the conditioner but you know this is also an alternative like if you're playing sports you know you you're going to sweat your hair is going to sweat so if you don't want to keep drying your hair out with shampoo just use conditioner this conditioner too i think the conditioner may be a little bit more than what you're used to is because tresemme is a value brand and they make really good products and they have very very good ingredients specified to help your hair quality so that's why I'm recommending it to you is not, I don't think it's as uh, natural as Shea Moisture, but it definitely works way better than Shea Moisture. So if you're playing sports and everything, this is pretty much like a co-wash, like you can do this as much, as long as you need to, you can do this as many times as you need to, and then it will not dry your hair out. Like I promise you, like that's one of the big main concerns with me. Is I didn't want it to dry my hair out so you know I started using conditioner and it's been working great for me ever since um, another thing too is I do mess up my pattern in this you don't have to mess up your pattern um, but you know I have different techniques to help me out like make sure my pattern is back to where it needs to be but you know I just like my scalp to be clean as well like that's why I kind of scramble wash it a little bit but that's up to you you know you don't have to mess up your pattern if you don't want to but for me personally, being that I, I am active, I go to the gym, you know, I want to make sure I get to my scalp and everything like that. So that's something to consider. And then two, what up? I, yeah, I just noticed that warm water is just, just works better with the, the conditioner at first. Like, man, it's just, it's going to help. But yeah, this also loosens up your curls. So if you want your curls or your waves deeper, you can also use a comb. A comb is optional. Um, I just wanted to kind of show you like how it loosens up my curls to make sure that my waves are like they end up being better and more defined. So that's also something you want to try if you want to give it a um, give it a shot. I recommend it. Uh, as you know uh, I shower brush this is a good technique too um, if you haven't seen my first video you should definitely watch it that's um, how to wash 180 waves but shower brushing is going to help if you scramble wash your hair this is going to help lay your hair back down it's going to help make your hair pattern better and everything so this is one thing you can do and being that you're using conditioner it's going to glide through your hair it's so easy you know so uh, try that out, you know, shower brushing, I highly recommend it. 
it's a definitely a big thing in the wave community is definitely slept on i feel like but this is going to help your waves if you do this like um every week or every however often like maybe five days at the most five three days you know this is going to help out man like it's i highly recommend it especially if you're trying to get your waves to be elite you know do the shower brushing method it's gonna work I'm telling you All right, so for this step, I pretty much um, rent, I'll rinse out this portion of the conditioner, like once it's throughout my hair or whatever, I'll throw some more water in there, rinse it out, and then I'll put one more coat in there. That's just for me personally. Like I notice like sometimes during the winter, my hair does dry out. So I'll put another coat of conditioner in. You don't have to put a lot, just like a little bit, just so you can make up for the hair. I mean, for the make up for the conditioner that you brushed out previously. So, you know, say so I'll put another coat in there, you know, not too big of a size, but I'll put it in there and then I'll let it sit pretty much. So, you know, I'll let it sit in my hair and then I apply it like normal everything and I go from there. So after I let it sit for a minute, you know what I'm saying? I let it sit for like five, 10 minutes. The longer you let it sit in your hair, the better. But you know, you don't have to wait like an hour or you don't have to wait 30 minutes. You can, it's up to you. But after I let it sit in, I use cold water and I rinse it out. Cold water is really gonna, I don't even know how to explain it, man. It's just to be honest with y'all, cold water is just gonna be the best thing to do after. Um, that's what I've been doing it works every single time for me i notice that my curls are a lot looser too when i use colder water so you know i just use colder water at the end um it just seals in the look for me and it helps out my um my curls you know what I'm saying which are pretty much waves it helps my waves to get a more defined look and it's more moisturized so i recommend you use cold water at the end of this process because that's just the best way to do it All right, so after this process, once you got your hair pretty much damp, like you use your cold water, your hair is still damp. So I don't put in the sporting waves yet. This is what I do, like kind of like an added conditioner type effect on this. So this is where you put your leave-in conditioners. As a waver, you wanna make sure you have good leave-in conditioners. This is where it's a wide range of different conditioners you can have, like leave-in conditioners. Um, the ones I like personally, I like the mixed chicks. Um, I like their their type leave-in conditioners. I like the argan oil condition. That's a really good one. I you know, Cantu is a really good one too. Uh, I, it's Shea Moisture. I like the Curl Souffle, and I heard the uh, Curly Hansen smoothie. I heard that's really good too. So I use that. 
and then the trick is to put your do-rag on and let your hair dry so i put my do-rag on i let my hair dry because you know i just it's still damp i didn't completely dry my hair yet um you know this is kind of like an extra step if an added extra step if you want to add it into you know your routine you can do this too but my hair is still kind of damp it's not all the way dry yet so i just throw my do-rag on so yeah i throw my do-rag on and then you know i make sure it's properly tied um this is really important being that your hair is still kind of wet so you want to make sure you're tying it correctly um you know not too loose not too tight because this is how you get lines in your head so make sure you pay attention to that and then you know i'm going to speed up this process for you so that you guys don't have to wait till i come back all right so i'm back now my hair is completely dry now so i'm able to put like the sporting waves grease in there and this is pretty much last step that's what i do after my hair is finished drying from the conditioner and everything i put in sport waves to save the progress i save my waves the sporting waves is basically like memory card as i said before you put that in your waves are going to be right where you left them and then you know if i need to put olive oil in i'll put that in and then I'll put my do-rag on again to say the progress. I brush my hair in and everything as well. But after that process, I just put my do-rag on. And yeah, that's that's the final look. That's the only thing I really had to do for it. And it helps out. And my hair is clean, moisturized, and done. So thanks so much for watching the video. I will see you in my next video. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you did like the video. All right, I'm out.